all know about the big ocean liners and the cruise ships that do uh, world cruises. Can you tell me what's unique about your cruises? Well, I think not only the ocean liners, but also different from river cruises, where the numbers carried, of course, are much more than our relatively small numbers, where we're talking about a maximum of 22. The majority are really between sort of 10 and 12 passengers. These are the barges we're talking about, and uh, so it's a very special, unique type of holiday. We're the only company that has such a product. Uh, we have about 20 vessels from which a choice can be made. So is your company UK-based? It's UK-based, a British company, although we market uh, in the United States, Australia, New Zealand as well. And how many barges do you have? Just about 20. Do families like charter these? these they can do. The barges can be chartered, whatever the uh, size of them. Uh, they could be chartered by a family, they could be chartered by a group of friends, they could be an incentive group, business. It's very possible because it's yours and an, an exclusive small group traveling isolated as well so that you're not interrupted by anybody else. Okay. So when they, when they go on these cruises, is there a set uh, plan, a set program? That they yes. Have to there is, the itinerary is laid down for each barge and it works that you travel a to B one week and B back to A the following week but you would only go in one direction otherwise you'd see exactly the same repeated so there is a choice but that's the only choice but, 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 um, so it's a basically a six nights holiday each a trip leaves on a Sunday afternoon and concludes on the following Saturday morning and that formula is the same right across the fleet whichever barge you go on whatever the itinerary they are very comfortable, all cabins are en suite, facilities and so on. Uh, you have a large lounge dining room where the meals are taken as a group uh, and then there's plenty of place to, to relax as well. Some of the barges have uh, spa pools as well, quite relatively small of course, but nevertheless it's a nice facility and it's out on the open, open deck. So tell me, if, if a family doesn't charge the whole ship, do, are they on there with other families? Other? Well, the thing is about families is that we have a, a policy about the, the age of children, yes. uh, families. Um, basically, if families are booking independently, not a charter, we only accept children from the age of 14 upwards. If it's a charter, the responsibility for the charter is taken by a, the head of the household or whatever it is, and the responsibility then passes back to the, the head of family, shall I say, um, and therefore the age of the child is decided by the charter, yeah, see, yeah. all right? And there's no limit up or down, as it were. Um, and so the, you can take children. And there's plenty to do, with, we're very used to handling family groups like that, uh, but they've got to be chartered themselves. You've always got something to see because when you're cruising on a canal, you're almost within touching distance of your scenery and there are stops during the day anyway. We don't move at night, we tie up uh, and that's it. It's, so it's blissfully quiet and so on. You can get off the barge at night if you want to and wander into a village and so on. But essentially, during the day there are stops. We take you sightseeing because in addition to cruising and seeing the scenery and so on, we also have a minibus which goes obviously on the roads accompanying the barge and we take you half the day of the itinerary sightseeing maybe into a town a village to a chateau to a vineyard and that is conducted by a member of the crew who's experienced and knowledgeable in the area and acts as a guide and who will be the driver as well and takes you to the destination so that you enjoy your sightseeing. I see so, so when you when you get to a port everything's all included all yeah, the whole and the, the trips and yes I can dwell on that because the whole arrangement is fully inclusive because all meals obviously provided travel and so on but we also have uh, wine served top quality wines at lunch and dinner we also have an open bar party
policy mm -hmm. so that you can take a drink all day, all night if necessary, and we don't even count what you're taking. <laughs> And are these uh, cruises operational through the years? Uh, yeah. No, they start 1st of April, mm -hmm. beginning of spring, and conclude really at the end of October. Just occasionally stretch on beyond into November, but one October, uh, sorry, one April to 31 October is a safe in bed. And you say you're UK based, but do you do these abroad? Well, France. Yes. Uh, yes, we're on the canals of France, and that's the majority of the programme, ranging from northern in France, shall I say, right down to the Mediterranean, uh, always on canals, of course. Uh, and then we also have one vessel based in Italy, uh, in Venice, and we cruise a canal close to the River Po. And then we have three uh, barges which are operating, shall I say, in the British Isles. One is on Scotland, on the Caledonian Canal and Loch Ness. One is on the River Shannon in Ireland and one on the River Thames. So if I wanted to charter one of these barges, say, to, to go down the canals in France, yes. how would you go about it? Is it like, how would I get to France? Is right. that my own? Basically, the actual pricing for us is cruise only. Right. Uh, and leaving you to decide you're going to go by train, you might want to combine it with a driving holiday and so right. on. If it's train, we will indicate and discuss the trains into to Paris and then what station you would get to in Paris to go onward. Then, once, and then we give advice as to the timing of the train, we collect you from the local station and take you to the barge and we bring you back. If you have your car, we will guide you uh, in where it can be safely parked for the duration of the cruise. We will collect you from the car park, we will take you to the barge and take you back at the end. All included in the price. Is there a competitive prices or is there any... I would say they're competitive but bearing in mind what is offered, very inclusive and the relatively small numbers of people uh, because you're talking about a minimum of four people to a maximum of 22. Mm. The majority, I would say the average is around 10 or 12, but it, it's a good price for what you're getting. That's all I would do, say. And how do people start to plan these holidays? Do you have a website or a... They can do that. Obviously, they can ask us for a brochure, certainly website, but basically speaking, they may need information. They can talk to us in the office. And we're based uh, in the south of England near Windsor.